hi this is summer with summer's tips and stitches and in this video I wanted to talk about this project bag my husband got me um, on the front it says be crafty have fun be happy um, okay so to be honest he actually got me this bag not this past Christmas just a few months ago last year Christmas 2018 um, and I've used it quite a bit. Now, this is the deal though. I really only use it for specific type of projects. This is the size of it, if you see in comparison to my head, or the project bags I normally carry around. So it's quite big, but the reason I like it is because if I'm using like one of those big red heart skeins of yarn, or like a big twist or one of these big woolies. It's nice to have the bigger bag. Okay, first I'll talk about the outside features and then we'll look inside. Okay, so one, it has an adjustable strap so you can carry it like cross body or like a purse. If you're someone that does not carry bags that way, which is me, I like to make this as small as possible and I usually just let it hang and I use this handle. Now this is a nice handle. It has a plastic coating or a plastic piece over the, you know, the black nylon -y straps. Okay, so also in addition, these handles clip off. So if you really hate them and you don't want to use them at all, you can clip them off and use this strap for a different craft project. But I leave it on. Okay, so that's the handles. On the top, there are two sections where there's holes in a slit, holes in a slit. And this is what allows your yarn to come out through. And I will show you that when we talk about the inside. Okay, now the only kind of pocketing that is on this is right here. This is, uh, there's four of these that you can either put your hooks in. I have a skinny hook here. I have a pair of scissors in here. And then I have one of these bigger clover hooks. And they are pretty decent sized spots. Um, let's see. They're, they're pretty deep to where you could, uh, a knitting needle is going to push it. It's going to be kind of tall. They're perfect for pens, markers, and crochet hooks. Um, I also have a little pocket here that fits these littler scissors, or you could maybe put your um, stitch markers case. Nope, that's too big. My stitch markers case is pretty big. And then there is a bigger pocket right here that's the full length. And this one is pretty deep. What do I have in here now? This is the fringe for the project. I'm making and then I also have a hair bread in there I have a hair bread a bobby pin um you probably could fold up a pattern or put like a small pattern book there but it's not too thick now the inside of the bag there is a zipper on this side and it's actually one of these project bags that has two zippers okay let me see if I can get both of them to show you so there are two across the top. I only ever use one. The inside of the bag is super fun. Do you see that? It's pink, it's polka dots. Now, why I use this bag and what I would use it for is I typically use it when I'm making amigurumi because that is what, or let's just say a project that I would use Red Heart, like these big skeins for. Um, maybe if you're making like a market bag and you want to use a double stranded red heart. Um, I use these kind of red heart or I love this yarn or crafter's secret for making the amigurumis specifically because you usually need a lot of colors. You'll need whatever the outfit is in, whatever you want to use for your skin tone, whatever you want to use for the hair, maybe a different color for the shoes. And so it's really nice because, and I, you can't really see it here because it's kind of, you just stand up your skeins right here and then you do a top pull. Now, I'm not going to enter the debate on whether to do an outer inner pull or an outer 
I do whatever makes me happy for whatever project. And when I am doing something that takes these big skeins and I need the yarn to come out the top, I do an inner pull. If I'm using a cake and I want the color on the outside, then I'm gonna do an outer. And if halfway through I decide I want the inside color, I'm gonna stop doing the outer and I'm gonna go in the middle. Do what makes you happy or what's best for your project, okay? But anyway, I stand them all up so that the outer pulls can come out. And this is why. I actually have a project that I'm gonna show you. You can, if it is convenient, have your project yarn coming out the top of your bag. And it keeps it all nice in there. And then you have your, your project hanging out of your bag. Now the nice thing I like is if you're not making too big of a project, if you're um, making something that can be easily folded or if it's namagurumi, you can, because it has these big slits, you can tuck your project back through if you want and not have your project go through the top of the bag. There's some times when I think it's really handy to be able to have the yarn come out the top of your bag and then times that it's not. If you see this project here, I'm doing lots of color changes and for me personally, it's just easier to have this big bag sitting right here on the floor next to me, my yarn coming out the top and then I just reach down and cut when I need to. At one point in this bag here, I had five really big skeins in here. So I was able to fit five big full red hearts in here. I was not able to put my sixth skein in there until the others kind of started going down in color. Okay. Now, um, I should have looked for the exact price on this bag. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to say it was in like the $30 range, but that was two years ago. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description to Amazon because that's where my husband bought it for me. He bought it off of Amazon, Amazon Prime. And that way you can click on it and you can see um, what it costs. Now there's other companies that sell similar bags like this one. Um, I know that Darn Good Yarn sells one. I think theirs is quite a bit more and I'm not trying to be rude about it. It's a smaller company. Um, and so you can see, I know that when I like look at to buy something on Amazon and I see, like I click on the image and then it talks about the details. If you go a little bit further, it will often tell you products that are similar to this, you know, so look around, you might find one that's cheaper or maybe one that's a little bigger. Um, I want to see. So in general, this is this bag. I really like it. I wanted to see if it was made in China. I know that bothers people these days. And I don't see that it's labeled here. But it's a pretty decent size. Now, I will be honest, I don't typically carry this out in public um, because I don't, when I'm doing an amigurumi, I usually stay at my house. I said that at the last video because it's kind of stressful. But this project is kind of fun. I'm making um, a rug with two a double strand of red heart. And so it's been very convenient for me to keep all of my colors in there that I'm using for the rug. And I keep it in there and I zip it off. And actually the only place I've been going lately is for Flynn's therapy for his lymphedema. So I just carry this right in. I prop it on the floor. The thing I like, one of the things I really like is you see how it holds its size, its structure. So I can have this standing up on the floor and I don't have to worry about it flopping all over the place. Um, so I can just reach in, snip my color, bring up the new color, and join and go straight through. So I've really, I mean, I found this very handy for my project. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I will say I'm not sponsored by this company. Um, I'm not, I didn't get this for free in order to make the video. Um, this is just a bag that my husband bought me for Christmas one year. And I've really started using it a lot this last month and I thought I would tell you about it. And um, I think it was somebody in one of, the, one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. It's either mine or Seta's or Janine's or somebody's. I told them about this bag. And I thought, you know what? I'll just make a quick video about it. Because it has been very handy. 
Um, it's, it's much better though if you're using those tall traditional skeins of like Red Heart, Karen Simply Soft, you know. Um, I love this yarn, Crafter's Secret, those nice big fat skeins. And like I said, it holds about five of them. Well, you guys, that is all for this video. I'll put a link in the description to this specific bag um, on Amazon. So if you want, you can check it out. I haven't seen bags like that at my Joann's or my Hobby Lobby. Um, like I said, I believe Darn, Darn Good Yarn has one. I'll look through and see if I can find a link. Um, but I think it's a bigger bag. I wish I had something real close here to measure this to show you the dimensions. But all I guess I can really do is just show you in comparison. This is a normal yarn bag. So it's quite big. Big compared to my head. Probably put, you know. So yeah, that's all. Um, I'll check with you guys in another video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my video. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.